If you have a holiday coming up over the next seven weeks or so and want to avoid that perhaps familiar situation where things all get a little bit hectic and stressful in the final week before you finish up and maybe create the situation where you really need a holiday because you're so stressed preparing for your holiday, then this video is for you. It's a familiar scenario, right? We run around in that last week trying to wrap up our key projects, get certain things over the line, clear down our email inbox and answer every potential question that the people in our team might have. And as I say, we end up really needing that holiday. So if you want to avoid that situation, then today's Friday Thoughts video is for you. Hey, I'm Ben Morton. I'm a leadership mentor and performance coach, and I specialize in working with business professionals, moving into senior leadership roles who are committed to being the best leader that they can possibly be. So how do we avoid that crazy last week before holiday? Well, one of the things to do is to run an extended version of my weekly planning protocol, which depending on where you're watching this, you can access via a link up above or via a link down below. But here's what you need to do. Print out your calendar in week to view for the next six to eight weeks, and then block out a decent chunk of time. I would suggest an hour and sit down with your laptop closed or your computer shut down and lay out all of the weeks of your calendar and just take a minute to scan ahead look at what you've got coming up what are the critical things that absolutely must be delivered and achieved before you go on holiday and in the weeks after you get back from holiday once you've done that start to think about what are some of the task projects activities that you can park or, or pause because they're not critical. They don't have to be done and they don't need to take up a big chunk of your time before you head off, head off on vacation. And then once you're clear about what those key projects and tasks are that you need to get nailed before you take a break, then block time in your diary to work on them. Many people still fall into the trap of thinking our calendar is just a tool for accepting or booking in meetings with other people. It's absolutely not. It's the best productivity tool we have and we can block out time to work on things like writing up a handover notes, having final one-to-ones with the team or working on those final projects to get the key things over the line before we go. Stephen Covey, the author of The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, put it brilliantly when he said, the goal is not to prioritise what's on your schedule, but to schedule your priorities. So having done those activities, having printed your calendar, having scanned ahead, having, having carved out some time to plan and prioritise effectively, and having blocked out time in your schedule to work on those key priorities, you will be able to get to that final week before you head off on vacation in a much better state. It'll enable you to leave on holiday and relax, knowing that you've left things in a good place. It will leave your team in a good place because their lasting memories of you before you head off on holiday aren't of this crazy Tasmanian devil-like leader. And it means you maybe won't come down with a crash when you finally stop work because you've been so jacked up on adrenaline in that last week trying to get things done that when you stop your body shuts down and you spend the first few days of your holiday being utterly exhausted or perhaps even sick and unwell that's it for this week folks hope it's been useful hope it enables you to have a brilliant and well-earned break and as always look after yourself Look after those who've got the privilege and responsibility to lead and lead on.